Hey guys, Oogabooga3 here with episode number 13 of my Ease Origin Let's Play. Um, in this episode, or last episode rather, you remember how I got in this tunnel and it was like, Ah, my ears! And then there was a Rue that gave me a hammer, and then this chick was like, You wanna hit? And I was like, No! And she was like, Hey, you're so mean! And so, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much, uh, the story of this thus far. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to run ooh, uh, around this area and ooh, curses. I'm going to dodge these things and I'm going to go back and solve the mysterious puzzle. Oh, come on. I missed my jump. There you go. Okie dokes. Da 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 So what could the hammer be? Where? You see, you can't really hear the sound, but there's sound coming out of this one. Of, uh, yep, right here. A strange, sickening cat sound can be heard emitting from the cracks in this pier, or in this pillar. Well, the only way they can get sound down there logically, and this is a hit she gives me if I uh, don't be an asshole to her like I was this time, and uh, the sound, you it brings sound down into the tunnel with these things. So, what do I do? Why, I'm going to use a hammer. There we go, smashed it. Whee! Whee! So, for those of you who guessed the hammers used to smash the pillars in the last episode, congratulations, you're correct, you're a wizard. Ah, <sighs> well that seems to have done something. I'll go survey the fruits of my actions. Die, you filth! Or don't. Whatever, I'm just gonna run straight through here, dodge all these guys. Oh, come on. What the hell? He's lava proof? What kind of monsters are lava proof? What kind of things are lava proof? Ah. No matter, there's an angel statue up here that will heal all my wounds. Alrighty then. Wow! <laughs> Just as I thought. The pillar was the source of air for those damnable pipes. Onward then. Okie dokies. Whee! Whee! Prepare for doom! You just got doomed, son. There we go. Kill that one. Killing this one. Come on, die already, you filth. There we go. Gonna kill this boss monstrosity. Gonna kill them on flat ground. Because they're far too powerful otherwise. There we go. Ha! Killed all of you. Yeah, see, my things just hit straight into the pillar if I do it on a like a curve like this. And then they just fly over their head if I don't. There we go, prepare for some doom. Ah! Doom them. Gotta go back here and doom this guy. Oh, come on. Why won't you die from doom already? Ah! There we go. He's doomed. We're all doomed in the end. Whoa. There we go. Come on, you bastards. Ha! That's right. I overleveled myself for the last boss, and now you're too weak to beat me. Go! Killed that guy. There's like three more up here. There we go. Ha! These guys thought they could beat me. Now that wall pillar thingy's unlocked. Ah, 
Speaking of love healer thingies, I got a new mouse and keyboard, um, and they glow red. It's really freaking awesome. Like, I always kind of, like, thought, you know, uh, glowing keyboards are a waste of money, but and now that I have one, I realize that they're not a waste of money. They're a way of life! Like, really, they're freaking awesome. And I'm doing way less damage to these guys than the other ones. Anywho. Uh, come on and die, you bastard. They're really freaking awesome. They glow red, and, like, my computer glows red. I've got liquid cooling in there, and the, the tubes are green. I was using, uh, uh, opaque, is it? Or, uh, you can't see through the tubes. They're solid green UV tubes. And, uh, so, like, the red doesn't fit because my front case on my, uh, desktop is red. It's a Seam Storm. Uh, Seam Storm, uh, uh, Seam Storm, uh, uh, I think it's an enforcer. I think that's what it is. Shit! These guys are far too powerful for me. Alright, uh, and so, like, it glows red, and so I've decided just to change my entire team to red, so next week I'm gonna switch out the tubes on my liquid cooling, and I'm going to switch them to solid red, and then, yeah, it's gonna be fucking awesome. And, at that point, I will obviously be ruling the world, of course. And so, hmm. Well, I'm not gonna fight those guys down there. I'm just gonna go keep on going up and go past that room and see if there's anything cool there. Because obviously I cannot kill them at the moment. Because just two of them nearly defeated me. Mm. And perhaps this is just a fact of hard mode. Okie dokes. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, and going up and skipping. Going all the way up here. Here. Perhaps there's a chest with some Claria ore so I can strengthen my shit. Oh, wow. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, use this item, going all the way down to the tower base. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to that stupid lame here. Hey, here you go, We're here for a one strength upgrade? Yes, please. Alright, let's see what we've got. Actually, maybe I should start explaining how all this works. Since I See, I'm going to speak an invocation passed down from Gemma to Gemma. It has the ability to strengthen and fortify items. I already understand the basic principles behind your work. I'd prefer you if you just get the job done. Humph, you're no fun. What good is mastering an ancient art if I can't boast about it a little? Oh well, let's get this over with. Rico took a piece of Claria for him as pack. Claria bearer, superior, innocent, maybe your wisdom and something, something, I don't know. It just skipped it automatically. I didn't get to choose that. Ha! There we go. Here goes one has been strengthened. There you go, one fortified weapon. Nicely done. Definitely feels more powerful. Though that was an eerily similar process employed by the hungry Roo. I appreciate the assistance, but I must ask, is that it? Or you can make it even stronger still? I'm afraid not. I need a new piece of Claria ore each time the spell is cast, and that just so happens to be the last piece I had on me. I see. I'll have to keep an eye out for any stray pieces of Claria then. Thanks again for your help, Rico. Uh, sounds like a plan if you do manage to get your hands on some, you know where to find me. Oh, I could have strengthened it before, damn. Temper weapon. Yep, right here. Give the Claria ore to Rico. Claria barrier of purest radiance, may you miss some da 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 da. Ha! Da! Here's one has been strengthened. Okay, you're all set. You should find that weapon significantly more powerful now. Got it. Let you know all if I find any, clari any more Claria or... Uh, da 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 da. Inventory use. So let's see how much damage I do to these bastards now. I was doing like 8 to 11 damage to the spinning top things, and now I'll be doing... Uh... 30 damage, wow. That is super useful. Okay. Ah. Alrighty then. These guys provide barely any experience, so I'll go back up to that room earlier. I had those guys I was only doing 3 damage to that kicked my ass. Huh. I wonder if the last boss would have been easier if I would have strengthened my wand. 
Probably. Whatever, now I know. Okay, yeah, 15 damage now. Damage was multiplied by like 5. Uh, die! Killed you. Boing. Boing. Ah! Forgive me! What the hell? Purple chickens now? Yeah, they're flame chickens, but purple. About 27% more deadly. Or so, uh, or so the legends have told me. Or so the legends say, rather. That's decidedly more legitimate. The sounding, anyways. Whee! 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 Out of my way, punk. No! Let's try this again. There we go. Whee! 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 Ah! I acquired these shell greaves. Noise, noise. I equip uh, shell greaves, get six more defense. Die, you stupid lava proof scum. Come on and hop out of lava already. I go, I don't want my stuff to fall in the lava and be destroyed. Wee, 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 wee. Oh. I was gonna jump out that one and go wee again. But apparently my evil plan failed, so. There you go. Ha! Ah. And what is this one? I acquired the spirit cape. The most useful thing in the game. Uh, a cloak imbued with spiritual blessings soothes the mind and gradually heals when not moving. Yep, so I can just sit straight. And my health goes from 176 to 179. Right then. Yay. Yay. Alrighty. How do I get up there? Oh, I know how I... I know exactly how I get up there. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Yeah. Who thought? Who'd have thought there would be platforming in this game? Oh come on, die you filth! Die you filth! The filth is dead. Ding dong, the filth is dead. Woo! There we go, killing some filth. Die already! There we go, that does more damage to them than my freaking hits. Running out here. Running, running, running. Running, 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 Oh, I hated this part of the game. It was horrific. Completely nightmare inducing, if I say so myself. Stupid chickens. Stupid chickens. Think you can be stupid chickens in here, eh? I do not control- I do not condone your tomfoolery! Going down here... Stupid eyeball. Uh. Alrighty... Come on and die already! Ha! You have no match for me. This more does more damage than my wands. That's marvelous, marvelous. Gonna go down here. And up here. Oh, come on, die already, you bastards. There we go. Eh, gonna collect this stuff, and up here is my ultimate end goal. No funny business. A chest, eh? 
But no! It's a trap! Yep. 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 So what do I have to do? I have to remove these four barriers. See? Or else that happens. So what are these four barriers? Well, I have to find these po thingy-majiggers where the uh, fire went out. And I have to relight them with my magical fire circles. My eyeballs of flame. And... At that point, I'll be right ready to rule the world, so... Oh, come on. Oh, my bad. Wrong way. There we go. Whee! Ha! Silly ghosts. There we go. Let one of them... There we go. These fire eyeballs are really useful. Oh, dang it. It was on the left. I have failed. Out of my way, you stupid ghost. There we go. Level up again. These guys are no problem. No problem at all. And lighting this thing. Ha! We those slimes were no match for me. Popping down here. And now I'm going to Oh, come on. Out of my way, punks. You want me to deck you in the gabbers? Going up here. Hoppity hop hop. Hoppity bounce bounce. Acquire chill chit in panakia. Panakia, panakia, panakia. Nothing useful, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, it took me like an hour to find all the things in this place, so I kind of memorized the layout uh, last time I played this like 10,000 years ago. So I've got three, and I just need the one more. There you go. Want to die, you stupid chicken scum? Going over here, running away from the stupid chicken scum. Bounce, city bounce, 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 but I bounce, 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 city bounce, 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 city bounce, 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 bounce. Come at me, bro! Oh, come on! I lost my boost thingy. Alrighty, the chest is open. Open Sisimu. Oh wow, I guess I just skipped the fight, eh? Relighting the torches was all it took, it seems. Now let's see what lies within. Some doom, I bet. Oh, acquired the construct medallion. Maybe this is the medallion to the hardest boss that I fought in this game. Oh, it is. Actually, not hardest boss. He was a pain in the ass mostly, but. Oh come on. He was still a pain in the ass that took about 50 tries to beat. Come on and doom already. There we go. The goddess statue right there is bleeped. That opening is bleeped. I'm not getting much experience from these guys, so I'm pretty much the highest level I can be for this area. So, I'm just going to save here. What would you like to do? I'd like to save right here on the Guilty Fire 2. And I'm gonna end the Let's Play then. I am Oogaboo Guthrie, a Titanic Sloth. This was episode number 13. I think anyway, I think it was 13, of my uh, Ease Origin Let's Play. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, uh, and tell your friends about us. So, I am Oogaboo Guthrie, 
Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.